Hey everybody, it's Crypto Anarchist here, and I'm bringing you a video today on why I think uh, proof of stake is actually the uh, category of cryptocurrencies that's going to do best when the Lightning Network comes out. So I said before, you know, I'm I'm actually more of a fan of the Bitcoin Cash style of blockchain. That's the classic blockchain. That's classic Bitcoin to me. But the Lightning Network will be coming out, so you know you have to plan accordingly. So what am I doing? I'm actually increasing holdings of proof of stake cryptocurrencies why because proof of stake like li the lightning network is actually completely a proof of stake style of network and even andreas antonopoulos has said multiple times that uh the lightning network is bitcoin proof of stake and what he means by this is that you're going to be having these basically master nodes lightning master nodes that would root transactions um along the network and it would also enhance the security because these transactions would be rooted anonymously through like Tor Onion style routing so it gives you IP address obfuscation um, and it, that enhances your privacy and security um, but it also like the Lightning Network basically becomes a part of block validation and transaction validation because you are validating transactions that occur off the blockchain and multiple ones that uh, like multiple ones um, not on a one-to-one -one ratio with the transactions you record on the blockchain. So what I mean by this is with the Lightning Network, you can have 100 different transaction relationships with 100 different people uh, throughout the Lightning Network, and that could be um, all changed with just one transaction. Like one transaction could represent um, all those transactions between those 100 people. Um, so th the issue that you have there is that that becomes a... a a foundational part of the cryptocurrency and it becomes a method of basically transaction validation and transaction routing so that's only an issue if uh, you know like for proof-of-work cryptocurrencies like that's why I don't like proof-of-work cryptocurrencies with the lightning network is because when you change like when you start paying somebody else a fee to validate transactions but you keep all of the power in the hands of the miners because like with Bitcoin and SegWit um, it's a proof of work cryptocurrency so if you perform a 51 percent attack on it like you cripple the network and with the bitcoin lightning network that's a proof of stake style reward system so you're taking power out of the hands of the miners but you still leave that you know the crippling 51 percent attack that's completely the same like your chances of 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 uh successfully doing a 51% attack against Bitcoin SegWit after it activates the Lightning Network, like it's way better. Um, so this is actually very good for, like, the Lightning Network is good for proof-of-stake style cryptocurrencies, just not proof-of-work style cryptocurrencies. And the way you want to think about this is a kind of like proof-of-work, it's kind of like an aggressive investment in a cryptocurrency. Um, they can be very secure or very insecure uh, very quickly. Um, proof of stake, on the other hand, they're like bonds. I can't really call proof of work like um, stocks um, because they're not stocks. They're investments in currencies, but proof of work might, I don't know, you can you can make more money in proof of work, but you can lose more money in proof of work. In proof of stake, it's generally slower. Um, and the reason why proof of stake is slower is because the uh, method of security of proof of stake is actually a slower method of security. Uh, it's actually more secure long term, but less secure short term. And the reason why proof of stake is less secure short term is that with proof of stake, they, like you're not losing a lot of money. Like miners on proof of work, they lose a lot of money in, uh, in terms of electricity and hardware costs if they're mining the wrong uh, blockchain or the wrong block. But proof of stake, you don't actually lose anything. You lose out on potential profit, but you don't actually have any fixed costs. So um, with proof of work, because there's such high costs involved with the mining, everything has to be working all the time smoothly, perfect, perfectly. Otherwise, there's huge misinvest or malinvestments in the cryptocurrency. So proof of work forces a short-term sort of smooth, um, smooth running and of operations i guess you could say so proof of work because you lose a lot of money if you like if anything goes wrong even in the short term it almost ensures that nothing goes wrong in the short term but proof of stake on the other hand uh things can go wrong like you there's more soft and hard forks on proof of stake just because like um <clears throat> 
if one block does orphan, which can happen just randomly, um, you don't lose as much money as a staker. So again, yeah, that's just why like it's a less aggressive form of cryptocurrency, but it has more long-term security. So proof of stake, you should see almost as like uh, I don't know, just it's just a less aggressive form of cryptocurrency. It's just the way to talk about it. But again, the reason why proof of stake is going to go or do very well with the Lightning Network is because the Lightning Network it it's an it's an additional layer and it offers privacy features. So again, this is going to be best for privacy focused proof of stake coins, uh, which is basically like PIVX and exclusive. And then uh, I I don't know too much about exclusive. The one thing about exclusive I will say is I think it's a relaunch, but. Uh, the other like hybrid privacy cryptocurrencies are like Dash and ZeroCoin uh, or ZCoin, you know. Um, but the one thing about the Lightning Network you have to remember is that it offers IP obfuscation. And so this is why it's going to be really big for privacy focused proof of stake cryptocurrencies because you're going to route transactions through the Lightning Network off the blockchain. So it becomes just as important as the blockchain. So you're going to need some sort of block reward to go towards your Lightning nodes because it is technically speaking routing transactions. So it, like, it has to be uh, rewarded in the same way that the miners are rewarded. Um, but it's going to be best again for these proof of stake privacy coins because it offers a lot of privacy and the the reason why I think there should be a block reward that goes to the lightning network is because I think it should act as collateral um, it should act as collateral for all the transactions that occur off the blockchain um, the lightning node should put up their own coins and like that's kind of the way it works but like there, like if anyone loses out during a lightning transaction it should be the, the nodes you know they should put up their own currency as collateral and then earn a return on it a certain percentage return like a, or a certain percentage of the block reward as a return year after year and so that's that's really what I see with cryptocurrencies I should see or with proof of stake cryptocurrencies is I see them as uh, basically offering up their own coins as collateral and then making a return by routing transactions off the blockchain which is actually you know it's more efficient so they should earn a return on this uh, but that's how I think proof of stake should work and then it offers a service um, you know proof of stake offers this low-cost service to the entire network um, and the, the service it offers, it, at least for something like, let's let's take a proof-of-stake cryptocurrency like PIVX. PIVX right now, it does the same thing Zcoin does, and it uses the uh, master nodes in order to validate the um, the proof of their zero-coin minting. The zero-coin minting, that's a lot of blockchain bloat, and so they create basically a separate blockchain, kind of, and they have the history on there and the proof-of-stake stakers. They they will validate the transactions that the zero coin minting was done legitimately and that's the way that PIVX works that's the way zero coins hybrid proof of stake um, reward works um, and that's very good that's great the one thing that uh, the lightning network can offer to uh, these proof of stake mechanisms as well is that the lightning network can offer IP address obfuscation because you route your transaction through multiple different lightning nodes and you know nobody really knows exactly how that happens and then uh, so that makes it more privacy centric like that makes it more private uh, more anonymous and so that makes the coin better and then the other thing is that it also means that the staker is actually offering even more of a reward to the network so a coin that's fully proof of stake like PIVX it needs to offer as much of a reward to the network as possible through its nodes so that's really good that's also really good for other coins uh, that use proof of stake uh, hybrid systems like Dash or Zcoin because it makes their, their nodes um, even that much better um, I've always thought that the Dash master nodes are paid a little bit too much but if the dash, dash master nodes are paid not only for you know offering the coin join services but also for offering IP IP address obfuscation through the lightning network I think that just makes that cryptocurrency that much more valuable so I really think that proof of stake style cryptocurrencies are the big winners with the uh, lightning network but uh, again the whole point the whole reason why I think this is real big for uh, proof of stake style cryptocurrencies as opposed to uh, cryptocurrencies that follow in the footsteps of Bitcoin Cash is that you know the payment channels uh, that Bitcoin Cash uses they're very good but they are one directional um, and so you cannot like if you're 
like if there's two people like in this example right here if there's Bob and Alice Bob has to do or open a lightning stream or a lightning channel with uh, Alice and Alice also has to open her own lightning stream with Bob on the Bitcoin cash version of uh, the blockchain which again Bitcoin cash is the classic way and it, for you know for a proof-of-work cryptocurrency you want to pay your miners for every transaction that occurs so you know that makes sense so Bitcoin SegWit is making itself basically a hybrid and that's why I don't like the block reward for the nodes and so it's gonna have poor security but again uh, you know with with the Bitcoin SegWit version and that's basically every other cryptocurrency that's Pivx, that's Zcoin, you know that's Dash, all of these are SegWit activated, that's Litecoin, that's Vertcoin um, but they're all SegWit activated and with a SegWit cryptocurrency it's a proof of stake style reward and the reason why you have it proof of stake style is because these nodes in the case of Bob and Alice who are trying to pay each other they would only have to ha open one channel um, and they don't even have to necessarily open a channel like let's say Bob has a channel open with you know let's just call it Wells Fargo and then Alice has a payment channel open with Wells Fargo as well then Bob and Alice can pay each other through their Wells Fargo channel so they don't even you know you're rooting a lot of transactions off the blockchain and so because you're actually rooting transactions and validating transactions off the blockchain I feel like you have to use a proof of stake style system and you have to pay the nodes a block reward in order for verifying these transactions and rooting these transactions off the blockchain because that's the whole point of a blockchain backing a cryptocurrency is the blockchain and its block reward it, and the transaction fees are all paid to those people who validate the transactions and so with Bitcoin light with a lightning network of all SegWit enabled and SegWit activated coins you really need to have the block reward going to the nodes which are validating the transactions off chain I don't know exactly how much of the block reward is best to go to these nodes but you need to have some of the block reward going to these nodes that's why I don't like Bitcoin SegWit um, that much with the Lightning Network and I like a lot of smaller altcoins specifically privacy centric coins uh, as far as the Lightning Network is concerned because again the Lightning Network it's a proof of stake style reward system and it also offers IP address obfuscation so it's best for privacy centric proof of stakes uh, cryptocurrencies but anyways I hope this uh, video helped explain the coins that I like the coins that I think will do very well with the Lightning Network I know I've made a lot of videos talking about Bitcoin Cash and how it uses uh, Lightning Channels rather than the Lightning Network and I do personally prefer Lightning Channels but you know I still am investing in cryptocurrencies that are going to use the Lightning Network um, but anyways yeah I hope you enjoyed this video there will be more coming out soon